Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and in this video I'm going to be doing a comparison between MF5 and the Yushin Cloud 5x5. The first category we're going over is the basics. Starting off with their size, these cubes are both 63mm by 63mm. The MF5 comes in at $6 on the cubicle.us, and the Yushin comes in at $9. Both of these cubes come in their old shades, respective to their brand. In this category, I'd give the MF5 a 5 out of 5, and the Yushin Cloud a 4.5 out of 5. Next category we're going to be looking into is quality. The sticker quality on the MF5 is pretty darn good. I haven't gotten a single chip or mark in any one of the stickers. The turning quality is pretty good. It has a buttery smooth feeling with a little bit of crunchiness to it. On the other hand, the Yushin Cloud only comes in stickerless plastic, so it doesn't have any sticker quality at all, and its turning is pretty smooth and very buttery. For this category, I'd give them a 5, a 4 out of 5, and the Yushin Cloud a 5 out of 5. The next category we're going to be covering is the corner cutting. The MF5 can corner cut about a QB and can reverse about a quarter of a QB. It's very tentative sometimes. The inner layers of the MF5 can corner cut about a half a QB, normal, and reverse. The outer layers of the MF5 can corner cut about 1 QB and reverse about a fifth of a QB, and the inner layers of them can corner cut about a full QB and they can reverse about a half a one. For the quarter cutting category, I'd give the MF5 a 3 out of 5 and the Yushin Cloud a 4 out of 5. Time for design flaws. The MF5 can get these really nasty lockups that can make or break a solve sometimes, and it takes quite a long time to get them back to cube shape. Another thing that happens is when you're turning fast and are inaccurate, this cube locks up a ton. Time for the Yushin Clouds errors. So, one of the major problems is that it locks up a ton. And it's not as bad as the MF5, but it's still very annoying and they occur a bit more often than the MF5. Another thing is that the inner layers lock up like this and are really annoying to fix when you're on 3x3 stage or building centers. For this category, I give the MF5 a 2 out of 5 and the Yushin Cloud a 3 out of 5 just because the Yushin Cloud's lockups are a bit easier to fix. The final scores end up being 14 for the MF5 and 16 for the Yushin Cloud. Note that this is only my opinion and you can share your opinion in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.